Leonardo da Vinci's Mona Lisa became the most famous painting in the world when it was stolen on August 21, 1911 by Vincenzo Perugia. A former worker at the Louvre, Vincenzo had immigrated from Italy to France three years earlier. Through a friend, he was able to find work at the Louvre cleaning and restoring paintings, a job at which they said Perugia was very adept. Mr. Perugia had a keen attention for detail and he treated the paintings as if they were his children. He also made sturdy boxes in which to store the pictures when they weren't being displayed. Ah, oh, did you feel that? Did you feel that quake? I would give my life for a painting. I would jump on this. It is an Italian painting. He was incredibly passionate about the artwork and his Italian heritage, but he also was incredibly excellent. Ah! That is a priceless painting. You are fired. Fired? Pack up your stuff and go. No! Yes. Perugia spent two years in his apartment plotting the perfect plan for his revenge. He would repatriate fellow Italian da Vinci's Mona Lisa back to Italy. Dressed in a white smock like the museum's other workers, Perugia slipped in through the service entrance at 7 a.m. Nobody gave him a second look as he made his way to the Salon Carré where the Mona Lisa hung. During the intervening two years, Perugia had also become a master of disguise. Once he was alone in the Salon, Perugia removed the Mona Lisa from the four pegs which held it on the wall. This is where he ran into his only problem. The Mona Lisa was larger than he had remembered, and he could not fit it under the smock. In a master stroke of genius that only a seasoned art thief could muster, Perugia realized he could wrap the Mona Lisa in his white smock. Once the Mona Lisa was safely hidden away under his smock, Perugia made his way through the museum and back out the very door in which he came in. It took two hours before the Mona Lisa was discovered to be missing, and it wasn't long before the police went to knock on Perugia's door. They talked to him briefly since he was a former employee, but since he wasn't a suspect, they did not search his apartment. Do you have a painting? No. Okay. Have a great day. Ciao. Now that he had gotten away with stealing the painting, Vincenzo Perugia did not know what to do. He kept the priceless work in full view since he didn't have many guests. But the stress of having the painting and not knowing what to do with it led him to seek a buyer after three years. Perugia contacted an art gallery owner in Florence named Mario Fratelli. The Mona Lisa? Yes. Fratelli then had the painting authenticated by another gallery owner, Mario Poggi. It's real. I'm calling the police. Perugia was arrested in his hotel room. After its recovery, the Mona Lisa was exhibited throughout the Italian peninsula. I did it for my country. Perugia's patriotic defense worked, and he was only sentenced to a little over a year in jail. Fifteen months. Oh, no way, man. After prison, Perugia kept to himself and served valiantly in World War I.